guys, what's going on? It's Will here and welcome to what I'm going to call This Week on the Internet. So I see a lot of annoying shit on the internet from week to week, but there's some things that I'd like to talk about and don't really get the chance to because it wouldn't really fit into one video. So yeah, this is just a compilation of kind of the strangest, almost annoying things that have happened on the internet this week. I'm going to upload it every single Wednesday. So if that sounds good to you, drop a subscribe and we'll get into it. Louis Tomlinson, what is he doing? How has his girlfriend carried a child inside of her stomach for nine months only for when it pops out to call it Concho Bar? Concho Bar. Apparently this child is actually going to be called Jacob Sidney Rain Concho Bar Tomlinson. Zane didn't leave for this. <laughs> the poor kid's gonna end up like the bellboy of Sweet Life and Satin Cody. <laughs> Nicole Arbour, the internet's favourite psychopath. So last week, famous YouTuber Matthew Santoro made a video which wasn't supposed to go public apparently. It was just his story of him suffering from a domestic abusive relationship from her. And if I see anyone in the comments being like, oh, men shouldn't be domestically abused, they're getting blocked, because that, that, that doesn't work that way. But anyway, apparently she's gone from verbally bashing feminists and fat people to actually bashing her boyfriend. So he made a video saying that, like, you know, she was controlling him, and then he went to break up with her, and then she hit him. To which she replied with a video called My Side of Things, which claimed that she never, never hit him, never domestically abused him. So she put this clip at the start of the video to make him seem abusive as well, but, like... I have one. Ah. Is her shoulder gonna be all right? Might actually need amputated that. That was that looked pretty tough. And then in another video she uploaded talking about the same situation, she challenged him to do a lie detector test on her channel. I thought YouTube challenges were starting to die out. Lie detector test gone sexual. Like come on to my channel and do it because that sounds like a free hundred thousand subscribers. Woohoo! She's a nutter. She's an absolute nutter. Couldn't make this video without a part with Sam in it, could we? I mean, he uploads weekly now, so we're guaranteed to have at least one thing to talk about a week. So Sam uploaded a video this weekend called The Scariest Prank in the World, in which he walked around the streets of Los Angeles in his Oxfam hoodie, hiding around corners, and when people walked past, jumping out and going, Oh! Oh, Jesus! Good on, good on, Sam. That's good crap, that. It's really funny. He is genuinely YouTube's version of 2007 Britney. The strangest bit I think about is, he jumps out on these people and, like, they don't do anything. Oh, Jesus! If he did that prank over here in the UK, someone's gonna hit him. Someone is going to knock him out. So the rapper B.O.B. on Twitter this week went on this massive rant, like 100 tweets long, that the earth is now actually apparently flat. It's flat, is it? It's flat. He was quite happy to accept it when he was making his song about aeroplanes in the night sky or whatever, but now, now it's flat, mate. He basically tweeted loads of pictures of the horizon and how it was always flat, like... Bob, mate. They want me to be a good little rapper and sing and dance and don't question things. You should question your sanity, mate. Okay, okay, okay. Say the world actually is flat, yeah? Totally flat, not a sphere, yeah? What would be the gain in telling everyone that it's a sphere anyway? Like, like, who does that benefit? Once you go flat, you never go back. And then there's Big D, Big Donald. If you didn't see Sunday's upload, basically putting together his highlights, this week he came out and said he could shoot someone in the middle of Fifth Avenue, wherever that is, and not lose any voters. Like he actually said he could murder someone in front of people and his supporters would still support him. And he was boasting about this, but like, <laughs> what does he think that says about his supporters? We support murder, let's vote for Donald. And then there was this girl who managed to dye her skin completely pink with lush bath bombs. God knows how she's managed that. Like, I, I don't understand how it's ended up on her face considering like, you don't have a bath completely submerged in water. I mean, I don't, but fair play. So she tweeted him this photo and was like, just a quick question. Are they meant to dye your skin fully pink? <laughs> to which they just replied, yikes. <laughs> like, they don't have to have a life any more than she's already had her own, for fuck's sake. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's the end of the video. If you have enjoyed and you like the idea of this as a series, leave a like down below. If we go up for 500 likes, that would be absolutely amazing. If you're new around here, feel free to subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.